Lil Tata's little fruit cup, dog. So Lil Tata comes out and says, you cannot be 401k if you work at Popeye's. Please stop. Y'all getting me mad. <laughs> now, he got a point, though. Maya Kenzo talk like she the biggest op, like she the biggest uh, flocker or whatever like that. Like, if she see anybody, she going to throw. Bro, you better throw them damn biscuits in that oven. You better throw that damn chicken sandwich in this bag and hand me my frozen lemonade. I'm high as shit right now, and I'm about to go get the spits from my baby mama. So if you don't hurry up, I'm calling your manager. Come on, dog. You playing games. Hey, baby, let me get that picnic basket. But on a serious note, though, if Maya Kenzo does work at Popeye's, that's good for her. See, people think that 9 to fives are bad and working different jobs are bad. Because people came up in a scam era thinking that, okay, I got to make $100,000 a day scamming and selling drugs and having a regular job is bad. Nah, having a regular job is dope, dog, as long as you don't stay stuck there. If you take your money from your job and you invest in it, having a job is great. You get good benefits. You get consistent income. See, they never speak about when you're scamming or when you're a rapper or when you're getting money illegally how your income could be up and down. But when you have a job, you know what check you're getting every day. You know what check you're getting every week, every other week. You know what your life is going to be. Maya Kenzo working at Popeye's is not bad. She's still young. She got a rap career. To me, that's dope. Same way how fucking Kyle Rich lied about college and left college and all of that, dog. If you were still rapping in college, that would be dope. You only doing shows. I mean, you got a show coming up in London, but a lot of your shows be in New York. It don't be that far, so you can just go to college and be a rapper and make that shit work, dog. It's nothing wrong with having a day job or hustling so you get your own money, and it should never be frowned upon. Tata probably never had a job, but the truth is, a four one bop never went off or never went up. He would definitely be working in the bodega making chopped cheeses the Aki way. So Tata should probably be thinking Maya Kenzo because one of the reasons why 41 Bop even blew up because of Maya Kenzo. She was on the song, dog. If 41 never went up, Tata would be making chopped cheeses. Jen Carter would be a stripper. Kyle Rich would, would be a police officer and a, his part-time job would be twerking at Penn Station for cheeseburgers and a train ticket back to Africa, dog. These niggas would be down bad if 41 Bop never went up. So I got to chill with how y'all speak on Maya Kenzo. She helped y'all. Y'all up there now. She trying to get up there. Maya Kenzo, keep hustling. Keep working on your rap stuff. Keep making chicken sandwiches. Do what you do. Um, it's going to take a minute for you to get on 4-1 level, but don't let them dissuade you. You're doing your thing.